Right, they've been peddling the emotional stuff all day. You're going to squash it. Once you're up there, they're going to try and savage you with the allegations of planting and assault. But you've got to stand firm. Just keep in the zone. Keep it measured, professional. Don't let it get personal. Do you understand? Yes, Gov. Strip the emotion away and nail it for us. You decided people were in danger. They were. And you acted decisively. You decided DC Moss was in danger and you acted decisively. I wasn't there when DC Moss was attacked. But you were there to give first aid to Jason Devlin, to get his blood on your clothes and your DNA on him. I arrived moments later. Not moments, milliseconds. And being on hand so quickly, how could you not see the struggle with DC Moss? How could you see it and not intervene? How could you watch and not do anything? I put it to you that your need to protect DC Moss drove you to a violent and sustained attack on the defendant. We're trying to do this day in, day out. Now, I'm not saying that we don't feel anything. I'm saying training is the difference between what we feel and what we do. You attacked Jason Devlin, didn't you? No, I didn't. We have a witness. I did not attack him and I didn't put any evidence in his vehicle. You're a liar! It beggars belief that you did not see him and act on it. I find that unimaginable. That's why I'm a police officer and you're not. <laughs>